Hey guys, welcome back to another Southside new beginner guide. This one is going to be featuring Hugo. Hugo is a monster character who has a ton of health and does a ton of damage. Uh, he does, however, have low mobility, kind of, kind of similar to Zangief in a lot of ways. Uh, however, his mobility, I say, is even worse than Zangief's. So if you don't, if you don't mind this, then he's the character for you. Uh, but really, I can't stress how much damage he does. He is a monster. We're going to talk about all his necessary combos here that you need to learn in order to start playing him. Uh, we're going to go over all his normals and just his general strategy. So definitely stick around for this one. This is going to be a fun one. Because even if you don't know, if you don't have any interest in playing Hugo, just, you kind of figure out in this video and see, and see why he's so good and maybe figure out some ways to beat him. So Hugo, uh, right off the bat, we're going to talk about his pokes first. Uh, his light punch is decent. Uh, it's, it's definitely a lot slower than most people's, but again, it's Hugo. <laughs> Uh, so combos to itself, it is special move cancelable, but you don't want to do this because uh, they're going to block it. Uh, if you're looking for a frame trap, it's not bad because if they try to jump away or anything, they don't have enough frames to get away. Uh, if they try to throw out their own jab, they're usually out of range because Hugo's pokes are so far. Kind of a not a deep, bad frame trap. Light kick kind of works similar way. Light kick though combos really, really nicely easy to that uh, that sweep, which is really nice. So that's usually what that's used for. You see a lot of people doing that, and for good reason. Does so much damage and provides a knockdown, which is crucial to any grappler mix-up game. So moving right along. Um, well, again, I, I, I can't stress the range on these, but that's the last thing I want to say on the light kick. The range is just phenomenal. So just, just you want to use this so much. I can't, I can't stress how important that is. Uh, moving along into his mediums, he's got a, a few really good mediums. Uh, the standing medium punch, he's gonna move you forward. Uh, it's also a good footsie tool, comes out fairly quick. Also 100 damage, can't complain about the damage there. Uh, really great stuff. Uh, his crouching medium punch, this is what you're gonna be doing for your combos. Uh, it comes out de at decent speed, uh, and it is, it's just really strong. And before we go any further, I just want to clarify, uh, this is the light punch, this is the medium punch. I'm sorry they look uh, identical. Um, so, and same with the kicks, uh, light and medium, uh, so I'm, you're gonna just kinda have to know the medium causes a knockdown, light does not, and uh, this is your combo move with the medium. So from this medium, you can do two different things, Monster Lariat combos just fine if you do the light one, uh, or the light clap is gonna combo just fine. If you do any fierces, uh, it's not gonna work, so you gotta, gotta stick to those, uh, gotta stick to those light moves. Um, as far as the medium kick, uh, I can't stress how important this 130 damage sweep is from almost half screen away. That is amazing. Uh, I, I can't tell you how, how great that is as a, as a grappler character to have such a powerful tool that's safe on block. That's safe on block. No reason not to throw this. Amazing, amazing. Because uh, at that range, if anyone uppercuts you, uh, they're, they're probably a beginning player because that's, that's just ridiculous. That's, that's, that's so, such a good sweep. As far as the standing medium, not too good, uh, very slow. It looks like it's anti-air, but it's not. Don't throw this really for any reason, unless you're going for a mix-up or something. If you're banging on, they've never seen this move before. Um, his next move is the down-down medium kick. Kind of an interesting, uh, really slow tiger knee. Uh, if you got the perfect range, you can actually combo out after this without a counter hit, which is not, not so bad. Uh, however, it is very difficult to do. Most of the time, you're going to be banking on that counter hit in order to have it combo. Uh, so just some cool stuff there from Hugo. Uh, it's also an overhead on its own, so which is really cool. Uh, also, it makes you airborne, so most like middle uh, crouching middle kick from Ryu will go ahead and whiff or any low attacks for that matter. Oh, and it got the combo. So that's about it there. Kind of an interesting normal. I experiment around and see if you like it. I don't use it too much in Hugo's game, but it's definitely not a bad tool. Uh, next up. Uh, let's go into his fierce moves. His fierce moves are interesting to say the least. I really do like this uh, fierce punch. Uh, it's really slow on its own. It is an overhead though, which is nice. This is also going to be your launcher combo. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, why you need to use this one. Um, as far as his crouching fierce, this one is an anti-air. It's all you're going to be using it for. Uh, it's a terrible poke on its own. Yes, it does 130 damage, which is a ton, but so does other normals. Uh, only use this if you're trying to get an anti-air, and that's it. Uh, the Crouching Fierce Kick I don't like at all. I don't recommend you using this for pretty much any reason. He's got better pokes. Yes, 130 damage is good again, but it's just not that strong. Uh, his I can't say enough good things about his uh, Jumping Fierce Kick though. I absolutely love this. Look at how much hit stun Ryu has on this from an overhead. Um, so what you're going to be doing after you land this overhead, go ahead and call in Zangief or whoever your partner is. Go ahead and uh, finish a combo up for you. That was one meter off an overhead for 400 damage. That's retarded. <laughs> like, <laughs> just straight up. That, that, that should not exist. That, that's way too powerful. So, and again, uh, you can do that on Wake Up as a, as a cool tool. Uh, really powerful stuff coming out of Hugo there. I love that. 
So let's look at uh, his launcher combo. You have to stick to this launcher combo, more or less. You can change it a little bit, but not too much. Uh, the light kick, we're going to start with that, into his standing medium punch, into the fierce punch. Uh, so, just like that. Uh, if you do this any other way, you're going to be looking at uh, some pretty bad things. Let's look at the crouching fierce punch. Doesn't even hit. Uh, crouching uh, fierce kick. Uh, at certain ranges, it'll be blocked. If, if you're lucky and it hits, uh, let's see if I can get a hit. Uh, then you cannot combo after this, because uh, right, it was airborne. So even if you can get it to hit, it's not going to be the best thing ever. Um, last thing, what did I not? Oh, the, the fierce kick. So let's take a look at that. Uh, they're just going to block it. So you really have to stick to this fierce punch, which is fine because it's overhead. So even if they block uh, the first few attacks, it's going to be an overhead. Uh, the reason you want to use the standing medium punch is it inches you forward, uh, where the crouching medium does not. So you're going to miss that uh, that overhead. And yes, you're still going to miss it sometimes with the, this punch, but you'll miss it less. So at, if you're going to use Hugo's launcher, you've got to do it at a pretty close range. Alright, uh, moving right along to uh, Hugo's air game. Um, okay, we're finished with Hugo's air game. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding, but he, he doesn't have much air game, uh, to be honest. Everything has so much startup, you're going to lose air-to-air uh, -air battles very frequently. Don't be jumping around with Hugo too much. Um, only thing I will say, anytime you're jumping with Hugo to go over Fireball, always throw out a fierce kick or fierce punch to build meter. Uh, just like any other character, you're going to notice with Hugo, though, it builds really fast. Um, as far as his other air normals, Splash is his only good air normal, really. It's your cross-up, it it's your, your does 140 damage on its own. Absolutely insane. Um, so stick with this. Also, watch the active frames on this. Uh, it's the entire jump duration, which is cool. Most characters don't have anything like that. So, really nice. You can catch people jumping because of that. All kinds of fun stuff. Uh, really powerful tool. It's only good jump moves. Everything else is just kind of blah. I don't, I don't use anything else. Um... If, oh, at max range, go ahead and use the Fierce Kick, that's the most range, but still, no, nothing special about it. I uh, also want to show you how this juggles uh, from the uh, from the splash there. You can go ahead and juggle after that, so you can land a couple jabs uh, to your backbreaker. If you're going to choose a, to use a backbreaker as a juggle move, always use the medium, uh, it's always going to hit. Uh, the other ones can, can miss, well, I shouldn't say, the light won't miss, but it doesn't do the damage you're looking for, so the medium medium's usually the best one. Uh, if you get absolutely perfect situation, go ahead and use the Fierce, but you gotta practice that in training mode, it's a bit more difficult to land. Uh, so that's it, we're gonna go into Hugo's special moves now. Uh, let's go ahead and start with his, uh, his grab, I won't talk about the grab too much, if you're looking for a grab tutorial, go ahead and check out the Zangief tutorial on grabs, a lot of the same concepts do apply. Uh, this is a full circle, full circle uh, grab, so if you're looking how to do that standing, go ahead and check out that Zangief tutorial in the description. Um, but and again, the range on this is terrible, uh, really bad. I, I, I really was upset when I tried this at first, it made me not play Hugo. <laughs> um, but he's really not supposed to use this move, and that's why I didn't understand. He, he's not a grappling character like Zangief. Uh, he can use it, and it is very strong if, if you're touching them. But after like uh, two jabs, you're almost out of range, so you gotta be really careful. Um, that's all I want to talk about with that. Just remember that the EX version, just like Zangief, has invincibility. So on Wake Up, that is a fantastic option. That is one of uh, three ways you can really use his bar. Everything else you don't want to use. Uh, we're going to go right into his uh, clap now. This is your combo move. Uh, so you want to just get to this clap. You can combo uh, after the clap. You want to combo another medium punch. Uh, really powerful stuff. It does, there's a few combos to do a little more damage, but that's the one you should be using. Uh, we're going to talk about why when we get to the combo section. And this is safe on block, so it's it's really, even if they block it, you're looking at 25 damage uh, when they do block it, and then you're safe, so you can do whatever you want after that. Next up, the Monster Lariat. This one is not safe on block, however, this is your best mix-up tool. I, if Ryu is doing anything, let's have, uh, let's have him throw out a few punches really quick. If he hits you, great, uh, let him go. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Uh, after he hits that punch, you're going to absorb that hit. Uh, and just go ahead and punish him. Uh, and after you land any monster lariat, uh, you can you can finish up with your standard jab jab to your uh, back for almost 300 damage. If you do use the fierce version of the uh, of the backbreaker, uh, you will do 300 damage. But again, as you see, I just, I slightly mistimed it there. Uh, there we go, and you don't get it. So I, that's why I don't recommend using the fierce. That 20 damage is not worth a full whiff. 
So I can't say how important that move is, because uh, after you land like cross ups uh, or whatever, you're at that at this range. Just throwing these out is not a bad idea. Uh, or waiting for them to punch and then releasing it, uh, you're gonna get a lot of damage off that. Because 300 damage is a third of somebody's life bar for uh, for a hit like that. And any help that Hugo loses uh, while he's focusing like this, or uh, or you call while he's charging, you're gonna get that health back when you switch out your character, uh, just like anybody else. So really solid stuff. I can't say enough about this move. This is uh, that, that's why Hugo's good. Uh, moving right along into his running grab. This one is a little bit different than Zangief's. Even the EX version does not absorb a hit, which I was a little bit disappointed in. Um, but because he, he has the monster lariat, that's why that was, this move is good. That you need to block monster lariat. So if you block it, you can punish. And so they're worried about that so much that if you do throw this out, it's gonna hit uh, frequently. So kind of mix it up between those two, and that's really another powerful aspect of Hugo's mix-up game. Great. Great, so that's all I want to talk about for his grab section, but just practice that as much as you can. Uh, learn the range on that, and uh, for the monster lariat, again, just pr stick to that light primarily, unless you're going to guess a backdash, then use the fierce because that one goes so much further, but it's a lot slower on startup. Uh, that's about it for that. Uh, I don't want to talk about his ultra throw. I don't like it. It does combo, yes, and you're going to be able to squeeze more damage out of it uh, if, if you do everything good. <laughs> Uh, but it doesn't have the speed of the moonsault press it feels like, and I, I just I'm not, I don't have good luck with it. So you know you can spare around, uh, experiment with it if you'd like, but uh, I, I don't really recommend it. So yeah, 300 damage is, is much better than in your 200 you're gonna get, uh, and it does it is gonna build more meter too. But it's just I, I don't like it as much, uh, just because it doesn't feel as, as solid. It has more startup I think. Uh, let's see, I think that's about it for that. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, oh his last last special move. Is backbreaker. Uh, the backbreaker is amazing. Uh, the light version is the one you want to use if you're trying to use it for an anti-air uh, and save meter, um, or if you're going to guess your opponent's jump uh, and you can throw it out right before they jump and just go ahead and sweep them up, get some good damage that way. The EX version though is the best thing I've ever seen in any game ever. <laughs> uh, it goes like full screen, has like the best hitbox of like any character. Uh, it does 200 damage. This, you gotta save your meter for this move. If you have, if you have this meter, uh, if you have one meter to use this, then you're not allowed to jump backwards, forwards, uh, anything. So they can't jump at you. They can't jump away from you. And this is why you force them to play that ground game with you, and then you just really take advantage of Hugo's great pokes, whether it be the lariat or anything else. It's because you have this. Uh, so really practice this a lot in your matches. Don't be afraid to waste bar on it, because yes, it feels like a waste of, of meter for just 200 damage, um, but it's free damage. It's it's good stuff. Practice that a lot. So we're, this is going to be a very quick tutorial on, on Hugo uh, for the combos. Uh, so we're just going to do his three basic combos I want people to practice, uh, which is the just the light punches to the sweep. Uh, so the sweep, you're going to use the link combo and then finish up with that, that new linking system just to get that sweep. Uh, the damage is nothing to write home about, uh, but again, the knockdown is important because then you can you can mix up with uh, with anything you'd like, whether it be uh, you know claps, grabs, uh, monster lariat, really make your uh, opponent make a decision, then go and punish him for that decision. Um, so again, that that's just any any amount of jabs you want to the sweep. Really easy combo, really solid uh, damage, and just just all around it. You got you got to learn that one. Safest combo. Next one is just the clap combo. Uh, so we talked about why this is important. 300 damage on its own, meterless, eh, not bad at all. But the reason this is so good is you can go ahead and land uh, super after that clap. Now this is why I think this is the most important combo of Hugo. Uh, because yes, you want to save your meter for the EX moves, but this is going to finish a match if they were at half health, no problem. If you're lucky enough to land a, uh, a cross of splash or, or a splash in general, you can go and finish up that same combo same way. And uh, this is. I, I think one of the most damaging things I've ever seen for two meters. Um, so, you know, learn this combo. Man, if you got a gem active for that, you're looking at 700 damage for just one gem. I, uh, I don't know, that, that's way too strong in my opinion. 651 uh, for, for, you know, you can land this cross up fairly often with you guys, so it's, you're gonna kill people just from that. Uh, the next combo, this is a good one for beginners. J just the. Uh, Light punch to the monster, lariat, light monster, uh, monster lariat into a couple jabs into the grab. Keep in mind his jab does do 50 damage, so it's not like a lot of characters where you feel like you're just wasting time doing the jab. You know, two jabs is 100 damage, so really solid stuff there. Um, other than that, I don't really have any good combo recommendations. His entry, same thing as always. You're just gonna be doing a couple of those jabs. Uh, this one you can do into the fierce though, a little more safe uh, because if you practice this, you, you will really make a mistake on your timing. 
Uh, but if you're, if you're still feeling iffy about it, go into that medium. Nothing wrong with that. Only like 20 less damage. Guys, I think that's all I got for Hugo. Um, he is a monster character though, and I see a lot of Hugos online, and for good reason. So I hope this helped. Uh, if you're looking at how to beat him, I hope this helped you. Because uh, he, he is so tough to beat, and I'm, I'm sorry, I have, I have no good tips for you how to beat that Lariat. I, I can't beat it, so do that all day. Thanks guys for watching. Um, we'll catch you next time.